Just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. Hello! Hello, guys! Hello! Hey! We are back! We are back! It's us again! It's better than face. ever! <laughs> better than before! Yes! <laughs> definitely better! <laughs> and we're so excited to be back, guys! Yes! Welcome, welcome to Bed of Roses! Yes! This is our second episode! Yes! And we're so happy about this, So guys. excited! If you don't know me, my name is Elle. I'm from Elle and Nick, and this is mine and my husband's channel. But me and my sister here, yes. we have our own little cute corner. corner. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and um, we're doing this uh, series called Bed of Roses. Mm -hmm. We're talking about marriages yes. and how to prepare for them, and as we move along, how to be in them and things to to do and so forth. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, I'll let her introduce herself. Yes. Okay. Hi, my name is Bilha. I got invited back again. Yay! Um, I'm Lucy's sister. I'm glad to be here with her to share our perspective on marriage and just talk some things out and maybe have conversations that might be very helpful to other people who are in relationships, in the engaged, in the verge of getting married, just to share our two cents and contribute to community and just have fun and have time together yes. and maybe build some connections with also you guys and just have fun. Yeah. And see what we have to share. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't have said it any better. Mm -hmm. So that's <laughs> the whole goal of this uh, whole series. We're just thinking about the conversations that we wish we had had or we had heard about mm -hmm. um, before we got married. I like, like we, that. Huh? Oh, I like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And mm -hmm. Uh, like we mentioned last time, uh, we we're both married women. We've been married about two and a half years, going on to three mm. now. We got married <laughs> around the same time. Yeah. Um, and so we kind of have the similar kind of lengthwise experience with marriage. Mm -hmm. Not the expats at all. We're learning too. Yes. But we just think, you know, whatever we have learned in, on, along the way can mm -hmm. help somebody else that's maybe aspiring to take the same journey. So if that's you, please mm -hmm. stick around. There's going to be a lot Keep of... watching. <laughs> going to be a lot of gems yeah. being dropped. A yeah. lot of conversation. Gem, gem, gem. Gem, 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 gem. <laughs> yes. Yeah, all through and through. So, yeah, that being said, our last conversation ended mm -hmm. with conversations right mm -hmm. that was kind of like our last topic we were talking about the things we did to prepare for marriage mm -hmm. and we it kind of ended there and um we just thought you know this is a great thing to, to talk, talk about, about yeah. because there's a lot of conversations that would be worthwhile to have mm -hmm. before marriage yes and uh we just think did we have these conversations did we not mm -hmm. if we did would, would they have made a difference uh what impact does having them or not having them have had in our marriages now mm -hmm. um and just our general thoughts about them so yeah we're gonna be going over some very important conversations that you should have mm -hmm. before getting married yeah um and important topics yes yes mm -hmm. so Stay tuned, watch till the end. They're all very important. We are going to name them, but they're not in order of importance. Mm -hmm. Each one of them is important yeah. by itself. Mm -hmm. And these are not like the only conversations to have, mm -hmm. but some the, of the major some of ones, the major ones that like, we at least think. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. there are so many things that come yeah. up in marriage and you're like, gosh, I never even thought about that. Yeah. Or maybe you thought about it um, and you you know, you know, just didn't father that thought into mm -hmm. like an actual conversation. Or so, you thought it's a, it goes without saying. No, yeah. let it not go without oh my not being said. Goodness, If yeah. there's something you're wondering about, just say it, say it, say it. Yeah. Yes. So we'll just dive right into it um, and go to our first important topic on conversation to have yes. before you get married take it away <laughs> all right guys let's start the first one that i thought would be uh, important is having at least uh same fundamental beliefs or um for me i would say um 
having a relationship with God and what your partner thinks about that because at some point you might want to grow your beliefs or your relationship with God or I know it's not only Christians who are going to watch this but if you know if you go to the mosque seven times or if you go to the temple or whatever you go if you go to church or wherever you go and then your partner is just like oh you know it's fine and then if it starts af affecting you in some kind of way then it's you feel like either the person is dragging you behind with your beliefs or they start influencing you to like just live behind your beliefs so i believe this is very important to have either you are in the beliefs or <laughs> not in the beliefs at, at least to have some kind of something in common in those ways of the whatever you believe and whatever it is that you believe. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Of yeah. course, I personally believe it's best to have God in your life. Yeah. Because yeah, he will bring you closer to your husband, to your spouse, will bring you closer together. So, but whatever those beliefs are, I believe it's important that you guys have them together or at least are facing the same direction. Yeah. Because if you're going this way and I'm going this way, then we're just like literally stretching each other away from e first of all each other mm -hmm. and whatever it is that we believe in. Yeah. 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 So I think the conversation is, you know, what are your beliefs? Yeah. Like ask the person. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of these things do come up as you're dating. Like, okay, if, if, if you're Christians like we are, um, maybe you'll be going to church together mm -hmm. or like you'll be praying together, reading the Bible together. You know, those things that can give you an idea of what the person's relationship is with God. Mm -hmm. But it's good to talk like deeply yeah. about like mm -hmm. what does it look like for you to have a relationship yeah. with God and what kind of things are you doing about that? Mm -hmm. And then uh, really listen for all the, the conversations we're going to have here listen to your partner's answers yeah sometimes you're looking to be on the same page like you're having that conversation so that you can be on the same yeah. page but you need to listen to what your partner like what is they're saying, actually saying what they're saying to you because yeah. you know like um those are things that will come into play later mm -hmm. and there are some things that you know your partner told you the truth and then you're like all right we'll work on that later no no you won't <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then you think you're gonna change somebody. I mean, maybe somebody. you will, but yeah, but, yeah it, you just wanna hear them. Like, take the answer for their what it truth. is. Like, yeah. if they're saying, um, "Yeah, I'm a Christian," or whatever the religion is, or whatever the relationship is that they have with God. But you know, I'm a Christian, but I don't think I wanna go to church every Sunday. Are you okay with that? What mm -hmm. do you think about that? Is mm -hmm. that something that you're okay with in your future? Or are you guys then going to have the conversation Okay, of, I love to go to church every Sunday. So are you okay with me, me going, going to church, church. alone mm -hmm. and you staying yeah. home? Or yeah. like, you know, what does that mean exactly? Mm -hmm. Then, you know, just have those deep conversations. And we're not saying that everything will remain the same mm -hmm. forever. It yeah. won't. It might but change, at least but, yeah. there is the foundation. Like, yeah. you know, this guy or mm -hmm. this girl they said this about their religion this is what they believe right yeah, now this is their um, stand this is their stand mm -hmm. and if that's something you're okay with yes. then you can move along yeah. if it's something you feel like i think that is fundamentally so different from me mm -hmm. and what i want mm -hmm. in my life and in my future and in my family in my children yeah. and generations to come yeah. then that's really a point to think mm -hmm. Yeah. What does this mean for me? What she said, if it's something you can live with. Yes. You know, like it's it's ultimately your choice. Yeah. Really. Like, mm -hmm. you know, if if the person is like, Oh no, you know, you could go to church and I'll stay back at home or whatever or like I don't necessarily believe in XYZ or whatever. I wouldn't encourage for you if you have XYZ beliefs and the other person doesn't. I wouldn't think it's a good idea. You might need to talk more about it. But if it's something like, oh, I, I do believe, but I'm not that. But if it's something you are okay with, you are okay with either starting there. As long as you are talking about something and you know this is the black, on, black and white of it and you're okay with it, then it's fine other than just going in blindly thinking like oh this is gonna be wonderful i'm gonna change her i'm gonna change him everything's gonna be great no yeah yeah just go knowing like this is it this is black and this is white this is where the situation is at and yeah. then you can handle it from yeah. there and some some of the things like um when it comes to religion or um the relationship with god like there are people that have 
been in love with each other from different religions, mm -hmm. right? It happens. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, that conversation even is a bigger one. Like, what does that mean for our family? Like, do I continue doing what I do and you do what you do? Or is we one join. of us oh, right. is one of us moving from where they are to, you know, yeah. joining you? Or are we doing a whole new other thing? <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's like you just need to have those conversations yeah. before you go in. Because mm -hmm. if in the marriage, now you figure out, like, you cannot agree on something... Mm -hmm. It really becomes a point yeah. of, is this marriage going to survive this? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's better to have a broken engagement than to have a broken marriage. Yeah. And, you know, we're not saying that all the marriages that break are because they didn't have these conversations. Not at all. But, like, you, just, you just want to at least do your due diligence, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, it helps a lot. Yeah. yeah, so have the conversations, guys. Make sure it fits okay with your spirit. Yeah. Make sure it's something that, as of right now, you mm -hmm. can see yourself, you know, working with this person as a partner yeah. um, and, you know, continue growing your relationship mm -hmm. with God or just move in that direction. And I think the, the reason, like, once like when when you're dating you might not think it's that big of a deal mm -hmm. but like you're going into marriage the things you will face in marriage like you will need to know like when we have issues i'm just gonna speak for myself we know we are in agreement together to go to god about the issues that we have a place you would go to find strength mm -hmm. or find a community that will help you or find advice or find counselors find something that will bring you closer and help you through the issues that marriage is gonna bring. That's why I thought this was an important one to at least you have something in common mm -hmm. that you can both be like when we're in trouble and we both feel like we don't have the answer, we know who to go to. Oh yeah. 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 I think it definitely helps. Um I, I'm sure it's not always the case with every single marriage out there, but it's it's helpful to have to have uh, God as a unifying factor, mm -hmm. like God in the middle of your marriage, because mm -hmm. sometimes you don't know the way and your husband doesn't know the mm -hmm. way, but you have God yeah. and he, when he's the center, he's always going to show you the right way yeah. and guide you guys towards him, to, towards the right direction. Yeah. And it's it's been helpful in our marriages. Yes. And so definitely we advocate for yeah, that. Yeah. Um, but you know these these topics are just like just make sure you're having the relevant yeah. conversations i want to drop in real quick i don't know if you guys have seen it you guys probably have but there's that little triangle like that yeah. where the husband is here and the wife is here and god is here and then the closer we both want to get to to God, the closer we mm. as husband and wife get, get to, to closer to each other. Yeah. So I thought that was nice Super. to share. I love that. That's <laughs> yeah. awesome. Oh my God. <laughs> Dropping jams, guys. Jams. 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 <laughs> yes. Yeah, so okay. That's awesome. All right. Our next topic of conversation will be finances. Guys. Oh, Lord. This is a big one. It's so huge. Yeah. I think um, from what I've seen around, from what I've learned and, you know, just hearing a lot of people talk about this topic, it's one of the main causes of marriages ending mm -hmm. because there's just so much that goes into it. Yes. Um, so finances, first of all, like when you're individual, you you have your own money and your own way of dealing with money and right? whatever you can do with it. whatever you want to do i mean it's your money right or not like i mean maybe you you're still living with your parents and you're not working whatever the yeah. situation oh, is gosh. and getting to know like how to like oh my god plan everything <laughs> anyway go ahead is this touching a just go ahead <laughs> you know, like... please continue <laughs> continue <laughs> anyway guys mm -hmm. finances are a big deal yeah they are right mm -hmm. and sometimes there's a lot of ignorance or like just take it for granted that you know we're just gonna figure it out when mm -hmm. we get there mm -hmm. but no guys like yeah. there's so much that goes into it because i think generally society just has has made it like you think okay because you're the woman the man will be the provider and mm -hmm. he'll take care of all the bills mm -hmm. and everything. And then for him, he's expecting, maybe in his mind, he's mm -hmm. like, oh, because I'm with this strong, independent woman, 
she's going to be contributing 50% <laughs> or more to the bills. Yeah. And then you get into this marriage and now everyone's like, oh, you're not taking care of me. Yeah. And then it's like, you're not helping me. Yeah. And it's just a whole thing. Mm -hmm. But like when it comes to finances, there's um, the question of like income, mm -hmm. expenditure, mm -hmm. savings, investments, debts. Yes. <laughs> Yes. The thing about finances is that it's it's all en encompassing, like it's in all the areas of your life, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So uh, when you're an individual, like I was saying earlier, you have your own ways of, you know, dealing with your finances, how you make your income, how you spend it, how you deal with your debt, how you, if you save or not, whatever mm -hmm. you want to do. Mm -hmm. And then when you get into a marriage, ideally... Um, your finances merge, right? Mm -hmm. In a, in in some degree, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And that varies from couple to couple. Yeah. Um. So I think that's a discussion that's very important to be had. Mm -hmm. Like, not just how much do you make and how much do I make and how much will be will we be making together? Yes. Like, how are we gonna be? How do you wanna spend your money? Like, how are we gonna support the household? Our, our money. Oh. How do you want to spend our money? Because no. now it's our money, no? I mean, I mean some couples. <laughs> <laughs> it did anyway, like, it's still, it's still okay. It's still your money until you guys figure out like how you're merging it. Yeah. So this, see, these are the things you guys need to talk about because some couples want to merge everything. Some couples don't want to merge everything. I think it's smart to have some merged and then some individual but that's uh for every couple to decide because <laughs> when she said you're already married and she'll say how you want to spend your money and i'm like you mean our money you know because what money i make is his what he makes is mine i think right no? <laughs> I like mean, that's, that's how that's, we have that's up to yeah, you guys i yeah. mean as long as you had the conversation mm -hmm. and you guys figured out what would work best yeah. for you mm -hmm. that's fine and also these things change with time like of course like sometimes the amount of income changes mm -hmm. uh your lifestyle changes mm -hmm. how much you you're able to invest changes you know all these things are different but you decide like how you want to go into it yeah um i was saying your money because or <laughs> his money because before it becomes your money like someone is earning it first yes. right mm -hmm. and then you decide what degree of it you want to put together if it's a hundred percent if it's 50 if it's zero how you want to split expenses yeah, how you about wanna... zero <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, good. I'm not. I'm not for zero. We have to at least be seventy five percent. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I some think... people. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, I mean some people <laughs> say, okay, what do I need to do, and I'll just give that potion mm -hmm. to the household, and that works fine for them. Yeah, that works fine for, for some people. <laughs> I okay, think it's ahead. smart <clears throat> to have a joint account and then one individual has one account and one individual has one account. For example, like maybe for a birthday, like you don't want to show them where you already paid for wherever you're taking them, then maybe you can use the account they don't have access to. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the only reason I have another account. But for us, we are pretty much like everything kind of like together. Okay. That's how like <laughs> we are. So that's that's how our finances are set up mostly okay yeah yeah i think i think it's um for for us like when i think about it because in our situation um when we got married nico had just came from kenya mm -hmm. and you know he was working then and, and then he came here and we had to wait for like a whole year before he could work again mm -hmm. and so like the way that we ended up like uh, figuring out our financial situation was very different like the beginning of yeah. our marriage mm -hmm. and then when he was finally able to start working and you know as we've progressed mm -hmm. it's changed you know yeah. with time mm -hmm. but like you just have to go in with um an understanding yeah. of you know this is the idea when it comes to money mm -hmm. and you know like how you're gonna go about like yeah. what you are making and mm -hmm. how much you're gonna spend when it comes to debt when you get married, mm -hmm. like debt 
their debt becomes your debt, your debt becomes their debt. Yes, so. yes. And you have to discuss, you know, are you paying the debt together? Are, are you, you not, not I'm just paying the debt together? <laughs> you should know. Are you are you just gonna figure out your own debt and continue mm-hmm. to and pay everybody it? figure their own debt. Yeah, like so. how however you wanna do it. Mm-hmm. Um career wise, you know, some people are comfortable in a certain level and other people are so like ambitious and they wanna keep going and increasing their uh income as they go. Mm-hmm. Like what level are you guys on? Are you okay with whatever level? level of ambition mm-hmm. your partner has Ooh. and or you know are you gonna be bothered if they're like no i'm good right here like i can Ooh. pay rent something else i want to say on yeah that. Mm-hmm. um the ambition thing is very important mm-hmm. the whole thing about like marrying someone's potential oh yeah let's not <clears throat> do that <laughs> right because this person like they could have other potential but if it's not something that they see that or even they're not even like actively pursuing that potential Mm -hmm. you you see that they have it and they maybe they have this great gift that you like wow you can make something out of this and you can make some income but they just see it as something that they're good at but they don't see it as in potential and you you go in like in marriage you can't go marrying potential of someone Mm -hmm. yeah this is it this is what you get what you see is what you get you're marrying the person and whatever they have at that time yeah okay don't be like oh my goodness in like a year or two you're gonna be making xyz which god willing yes let's make that but like right now this is where we're at yeah and this is how our financials are right now yeah and if anything changes down the road Someone has to step up. Someone has to do something. You can't just be like always hoping like hopefully things get better. But if things don't get better, then you have to like also go in with that open mind. Mm -hmm. Like at some point, like Lucy loves to go to school. Like let's say she wants to go back to school. Let's say she just really wants to go back. And then like maybe it's, you know, now she has to work part time or something. Someone has to step up or, or figure out with what we have, with what savings we have, mm-hmm. with what is coming in or with whatever the other person is making. Like, are we going to make it? Because this is ambition that she has and you want to support your person in what they, they're doing. Yeah. So you just really have to go with an open mind or you can just marry the person and then like they start something and you just like, woo, it goes and you're like, oh, now we have more than we started with. Yeah. I mean, you just have to keep an open mind. You can't just be like, we have to be like this. And if this doesn't work, then now we're in trouble like yeah. it's you know it's in in marriage you really have to like come in with an open mind and i was just saying that because like don't marry someone's potential marry them for f- face value this is what <laughs> this yeah. is what it is and yeah. this is what yeah because so. i think i think sometimes you get um tripped up about it you're like oh i can see all these things that he can be able to accomplish and maybe he or she yeah or, and maybe i can help them figure it out and blah 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 but like what if they don't want it for themselves yeah then what are you gonna resent them for the rest of your lives Mm -hmm. like and if it's and if it bothers you so much that someone does not either see their potential or they're not motivated to go after it Mm -hmm. then you know that's that's a question to ask yourself Mm -hmm. like do i want to couple myself with this person Mm -hmm. for the rest of my life and just be so bothered all the time or just try to push them so hard Mm -hmm. to do something that maybe they don't want to do yeah or like be the one to like push them so hard and then now they're feeling like why are you pushing me so hard like you married me you knew like Mm -hmm. i I didn't want to do it big question if this person does not change one thing in their life Am I okay to keep living with this person forever? Yeah. Because this is what you, as I said, face value. This is what you're signing up for. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, we all hope everything gets better. Like you get children, there's more joy, there's yeah. more love. You you be- get better career-wise. You make more hope, money. You know, maybe climb the corporate ladder or who, those who love business, those who love uh, technical skills, or those who go to like skill... Um, trade schools or whatever the thing you do hopefully it gets better but the question is if you do not do one more thing with your life you're just this is what you're doing this is it you have to make sure like i'm okay with this person yeah just doing this yeah like or or i'm okay to working around what they're already doing just don't be like 
oh we're gonna do this xyz and then it doesn't happen then you're heartbroken and then yeah. you're frustrated yeah 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 people people have the <clears throat> um ability to grow into their mm. potential yes. but they have to want that for themselves mm -hmm. you can't be the one seeing it for them yeah. yeah the finances are a big deal guys have the conversations have the the uncomfortable conversations um i know some people are not willing to like reveal their income and you know their spending habits You're some going people to have are to. spend thrift some people love to hold on oh to oh my coin. god yes so you gotta reveal these yes. things and you gotta discuss it and That's see good... how that how it's gonna affect your yeah, life yeah there's the people future. who are very frugal and yeah. others want to like at least spend some money that they have made yeah so you have to like really discuss this yeah things. and some people care about like oh i want to live like this like a lavish lifestyle and mm -hmm. some people are just like you know i just want to be you know as long as we have a roof over our head i'm good yeah and so <laughs> how is it going to be some people yeah. love to live in the city other people love to live in the rural areas yeah. and like how does that come together mm -hmm. you know like so much to talk yeah, about so much so, to discuss yeah and yeah. like on a day-to-day -day basis how do you spend your money mm -hmm. you know do you love to go shopping every day are you do you just want to do you know shopping once a month mm -hmm. whatever like there's so many things about money so yeah. yeah make sure you're having those hard conversations before because yeah. you want to make sure you guys are you don't exactly have to be the same but at least you can work with each other style yeah to you know live a comfortable life yeah. reach and your be goals. open with each other yeah don't tell the other person what you think they want to hear yeah so, like you know yourself yeah. you know you <laughs> you know what to do you know how you save your money or how you spend your money or how you don't like like you don't want to even buy yourself a two dollar dress because you feel like or you're like oh i see a shoe and i'm like oh it's a hundred bucks but i deserve it or it's a thousand bucks or whatever so just be open be like sometimes i feel like when i've maybe in a month or so i deserve something good or want something good because you know you're working hard for your money or other people are like oh let's just save it save it so it's up to you to like and just be open tell the person don't just be like they say they save and then you're like oh yeah i'm all about saving and you don't save or they're like oh i like doing this and doing whatever and then you're like oh yeah yolo but then both of you are like <laughs> lying to each other right yeah. so just be honest yeah yeah okay so that's finances guys Whew that's a heavy topic it's the just... potential for more but let's continue <laughs> yeah i feel like we can go yeah. more and more and more when yeah. it comes to money all right the next one uh is uh communication style i don't want it to be cliche because everybody says communication 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 as much as i have come to know right now is actually learning how the other person hears things it, yeah hears things if that makes sense so for me how i was raised uh well maybe you guys don't know my husband but he's caucasian i don't know if that but it, there's a point i'm trying to make i was raised in africa right and how i was raised with the culture and tradition or like how our parents would talk to each other or what i would see my aunties and uncles do or what what i would see in church or couples like mostly i would see black couples and whatnot how I was raised and how I think and how I voice myself is not how he was raised. He was raised in America. How he says things is just like simple to the direct point. And maybe me, I have like curves and ways before I get to the point of what I'm saying. <laughs> mm -hmm. So like how I try to express myself to him, he has had to be very patient with me and how he expresses himself like himself when he says one thing and says a simple point but it's like before he says something he has thought deeply about it because he's a deep thinker <laughs> and he takes his time to think and figure out how he wants to say it. but then when he does say something it's exactly what it is that he wants to express and me i'm just like saying all these things before i get to where i am going it's a whole like we have talked for 15 minutes before he's like okay so this is what you mean <laughs> right and then he's like okay he listens and then he thinks and then he says like one or three words or three lines or something and i'm like oh yeah yeah, that makes sense mm -hmm. you know like pretty much what i was trying to say and then so it you just have to learn how like what makes the person communicate the way they do and the the time that you fell in love with this person there's something good you saw in them so when when at, at a time maybe you know god forbid there's like a really heated argument and someone 
is out of character like you know them as a loving person someone who cares for you someone is who's always by your side who really wants to understand you better and the goal is for you guys to be closer and to come back together so the one time if there's like a heated argument or something happens and they go out of character then you should wonder like why is it that they felt that much that they needed to just be like this way or the other way that you don't actually they don't actually treat you like that so you you have to take a step back and actually really figure out what the root of the problem is you know because as a tree there's roots there's a trunk and there's the leaves there's a, everything so you you can't just be like oh let's snip off the leaves and everything's great no you have to find what the root of the problem is mm -hmm. even if it's like putting some time as, uh, time aside and being like you know I, I i know that's not how you usually would talk to me or that's not how you usually express yourself so i want to know like what happened even if it's like a little bit after like the argument when everybody has calmed down mm -hmm. <laughs> and be like what is the problem what what is it like what can i do better what can you do better is it something i said is it something that i did is what happened so that you can get to the root of the problem mm -hmm. because once you start uprooting those roots then <laughs> and the baby then you can get you know you get the root of the problem and then it doesn't become an re a re issue yeah. that reoccurs yeah. over and over again mm -hmm. and elena <laughs> wants to be part of this conversation <laughs> oh my gosh yeah so <laughs> yeah so um yeah i definitely think the way that you communicate with each other goes a long way and some of it shows up in your dating life as you you know get to know each other communicate mm -hmm. more about things but like it's <clears throat> in marriage it's it's very different because you're there with each other like all the time all the time this person lives there you live there like you're you together all the time and when you're dating it's a little bit easier especially if you're not living together like if you get into an argument you can say you know what like i don't want to talk going. about this <laughs> i'm gonna go home and they're gonna go home and then next time when you see each other everyone has had time to calm down mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. and then now you can you know have a sober conversation about it mm -hmm. but like when you're together and then like it's every day you're interacting mm -hmm. there's bound to be so many times where like you cross each other's line oh yeah and you just have to know how to communicate and i think this is really really difficult because there's so many things that influence the way that we communicate mm -hmm. and some of it is just right from your upbringing and some of it can just be from your experiences in life and some of it can just be like you're having a bad day mm -hmm. and some of it can just be like I don't know how to deal with this mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. and so like just understanding each other's communication styles mm -hmm. is really important some people like to talk about it right now yes some people <laughs> don't want to talk about it right later now. for me i think i i feel like whenever there's a problem my first thing that i do is shut down and i'm just like like in my mind i can't talk about it right now like there's just so many things going and there's the aspect of i don't want to say something i'm gonna regret and there's also an aspect of like uh, yeah like oh no i can't believe this is happening <laughs> right now yeah, yeah like yeah. and i'm just like uh, i need time to think about it and then like maybe your partner is the kind of person who wants to talk about it right yeah, now right now nice. and then yeah. And then, like, maybe the way that they're bringing it up is, like, like that's not the way that I want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, but that's up to you to to tell them how you want to talk about it. Yeah. Or, like, give them, like, something. Be, like, you know, I, like, I, mostly I, I used to be, like, I need to go for a walk or yeah. I need to, like, you know, go woosa or go work out or just go take a run, shower. take a cold Some, shower or something. Hey and then yeah. Uh, yeah but just don't leave them just hanging and, and not knowing what's going yeah, on so I, then that's not good yeah. yeah and i think i think there's no way to prepare for every single thing that's mm -hmm. gonna happen mm -hmm. but like having that conversation of or oh, okay the way that i i have known myself so far is when there is um an issue to be dealt with my default is this but i'm working towards this so if you know that you guys are opposite of each other you can say 
this is where we are we're gonna work towards getting to a place where everybody feels like they're taken care of mm -hmm. but that's gonna be a journey but that's how we're getting into this marriage like yeah. we know mm -hmm. that this is where we are mm -hmm. and we're gonna be working towards this while we get in when you get in there it's really really difficult sometimes having those hard conversations yeah. and having, but you have to have them though. you have to have yeah. them but having like um what, what do we say a strategy a strategy yeah right mm -hmm. on how to overcome what what is going yeah, on yeah yeah having a strategy or like having those reassurances mm -hmm. like even though we are fighting right now mm -hmm. the goal is still to be together that's good right the goal the goal is yeah. to be closer together mm -hmm. the goal is us against the problem it's not like me against you yeah you know just having those conversations over and over so that let everyone feels very safe yeah. even in those times where like you're angry or you you know like there's an issue that you're tackling you can still feel the safetyness of your relationship yes and knowing that it's not us against each other yeah. it's you whatever against the, the problem, problem is yeah. yeah and i think those tra tra strategies um go a really long way and i think actually you know people say like she said communication is the key communication is the key but a lot of people end up like resenting their partners be just because of communication yeah Really, somebody said something, it rubbed you off the wrong way, mm -hmm. and then you were not able to communicate that, or you tried to communicate it, and the way that it was received was not, you didn't feel hard or understood, mm -hmm. and then now you feel like, oh, they don't even understand me, they don't care about me, yeah. and, you know, whatever, like yeah I, I won't even try and then mm -hmm. they're like oh okay she doesn't even care and then you know it just yeah. it just keeps going and going and that like eventually that's not sustainable you mm -hmm. know so you just have to come up with a strategy yeah yeah the things i want to add on to what you're saying uh i really i have two things the the first one you said is the goal mm -hmm. like just honestly like this is like for reals guys like i've seen this happen in my my own marriage like you have to know what your goal is like you can't just be without what 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 what, what. <laughs> no really what is, what are you thinking what's going on in your head like what are you trying to achieve mm -hmm. like if you know you're just trying to get a raise out of, a, a raise out of him for him to be mad then you're you're not doing what's right like you have to be genuine with yourself like so I'm, I'm just going to start an argument to start it? Or like, what are we going to? Like, what's the goal? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, like me and my husband, we have agreed. Even when you're arguing, arguing or not in like the same agreement of, about whatever issue, we have to always remember the goal is for us to be together and to be closer to each other and to resolve the problem. Not I'm angry and you're not right now mm -hmm. and i feel like you should be yeah so now i'm making you angry because then that's just honestly i think that's stupid no n like seriously no offense because like now we are just arguing yeah for like no reason. there's no resolutions we are not getting closer we are not solving the problem either so if my goal is out of whack like i need to like re-examine myself and be like what are we doing here why am i here why am i speaking to my husband the way i'm speaking to him because clearly he doesn't deserve this the second thing that i have learned in, for my own self is literally put yourself in this person's shoes you know even if sometimes he's the one who has done wrong if i've done wrong always come to the person with grace mm -hmm. oh like grace my god like <laughs> yeah come to the person yeah. with grace because tomorrow <laughs> you might be the one needing that grace because you know who knows what you might do hopefully nothing that bad but who knows what could happen tomorrow then maybe you're in the wrong tomorrow and then you you know you'd want the person to like still come to you with grace yeah and i have learned to i know it's cliche to say but i try to get the my version of love from christ like i have done everything for him to make to like be like okay I'm done with how whatever like i'm not perfect i do whatever i want sometimes and and then i i come back and i ask for forgiveness and he still accepts me and then i try to follow his way and i try to grow my relationship but the times when i'm falling behind he's not i was like he's not like oh you just go away and go away <laughs> from me right so the same thing that he extends to me is what i try to extend to my husband even when he has done something wrong even when i have done something wrong and you know what that does to someone's heart 
it makes them feel so loved and so secure in you that now they just they don't even want to like argue with you they don't now they like that that apology you're trying to get out of them that it will just come out of them because they can see like i messed up but she's still ex extending grace to me or mm -hmm. i messed up and he's still extending grace to me which yeah. makes me want to submit and be humble because i can see what he's doing is imitating who we have chosen to follow which is christ so like know what your goal is and even if the person is wrong still come at them with, with grace, grace. gems yeah. gems 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 ding, ding. gems ding. <laughs> guys if you don't get anything from today get it's that this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. no i love that extending yeah. grace is not easy it's because not. at the moment of the heat yeah, <laughs> yeah like oh that's really like that's a trying thing but the moment you learn how to extend grace mm -hmm. you just have to remember i'm not perfect either mm -hmm. i'm not perfect either but it's it's something that you need to learn mm -hmm. with time mm -hmm. and if you're dating right now and you know preparing for marriage this is the best time to start practicing mm -hmm. because you're going to need it a lot in marriage. Yeah, no, really. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I hope you guys learned something from that. Yeah. So we're going to move on to our next point, which is Did -did 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 -did. children. We love them. Don't we all love Do them? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> guys, this is a major topic. Oh, Lord, yeah. <clears throat> very, very big. Do not assume everybody wants kids please not or everybody, everybody does not want kids <laughs> yeah don't assume. <clears throat> don't assume nothing like yeah. don't assume anything at all yeah people want very many different things Literally in life anything. yeah it can be so different like you could be shocked out of your boots like what people want <laughs> and what don't, people don't <laughs> want <laughs> That's a no. new one, guys. I've never heard us say that. <laughs> 30 years of life. <laughs> anyway, continue. Continue. No, literally. You like shocked out of your boots. <laughs> we let it marinate. Okay. No, like, it's so crazy how people want very many different, like, different things in life. Mm -hmm. So... <clears throat> Don't assume because you want kids, your partner wants kids. Of because course. you don't want kids, no. your partner doesn't want kids. Or because you don't want kids, they'll be okay with not having any kids. Mm. Or because you want kids, they must give you some kids. Or, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. it don't can go so anything. many different yeah. things. Just yeah. ask the question, do you want some kids? In yes. The future? Mm -hmm. Or even like maybe they even have kids I already, do. right? <laughs> maybe they have kids already. Yeah. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Like going into a marriage knowing that your partner has kids. Mm -hmm. Like what does that look like for you mm -hmm. personally? And the it, parenting, the other parents. The yeah. Like what will that look like? Is that something you're willing to put yourself through? the rest of your life mm -hmm. because marriage is forever yes. like and that child will not go anywhere or those kids will not go anywhere mm -hmm. are you bringing kids into the marriage what does that look like mm -hmm. what like what will it look like with the you know blending of the family yeah. right mm -hmm. but if you are got people that don't have kids yet like if you want kids in the future and you agree on that mm. then how how many yes three <laughs> well, now we know or four maybe <laughs> hopefully god willing yeah yes. and then if three or four when are we starting that's a good question <laughs> exactly because <laughs> some people want to get married to have kids not oh. like that's not the only okay, reason but like that, they they want to have kids right away i guess oh, is okay. what i meant like yeah. you get married boom honeymoon baby mm. and we, then we start them yeah we're starting the, the baby kids. life yeah and some people might say you know i need a few years one or two you or know, three how many years two and some a people <laughs> want to wait like 10 years okay <laughs> <laughs> i mean no judge <laughs> I know you're not. It's just like this is whoa. It's just like, okay. Yeah, continue. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Like, and then you know, you you 
you know you're having the conversation and like yeah one one two three four five kids whatever <laughs> and then the time comes and maybe there's you know fertility issues no. then what like yeah. are you okay if there like, are fertility issues in the in the future like what are you uh, what are we op- okay to do are you open to adopting are you open to getting a surrogate are you open to ivf are you open there's so many That's like so I don't know you know a lot of different different options and choices that mm-hmm. you can make yeah. and sometimes you know there's no way to know yeah. until you're actually trying and then now you're in that situation mm-hmm. so you gotta have these conversations preemptively and just to have an idea of what your partner's um opinions are on yeah. these issues mm-hmm. and what you're willing to deal with because if you know for sure let's say you really know you want to have a child mm-hmm. right and then in the future you're not able to have one biologically and your partner said if we're not able to have our own kids then i don't want to oh, have kids yeah. in, like at all like i don't want to adopt i don't want to try any other methods then you know you have to decide like is that something i mean it's it's crazy because yeah. you don't know yeah but it's a conversation better had yeah. or even like touched on a little bit mm-hmm. here and there other than just like okay yeah and nothing. know if it's a if it's a like a no no like with the kids or if it's a maybe maybe or whatever like just yeah. make sure you're having those um conversations and we're not saying that things don't change in the future because things oh, change they, all they the time do, yeah. like experiences they change what you think you know they change your mind yeah. and ideas this is just like setting yourself up for success mm-hmm. like you have something to go back off of like you're not just jumping into marriage with like like zero deep level conversations yeah, or anything exactly yeah don't be on don't always just be like oh we'll cross the bridge when you get there because sometimes those bridges like can literally either make or break your relationship and this one's for like let me just say for ladies don't just be like oh he's so cute i want to have his children and then he's like he doesn't want kids and like oh i'll change his mind girl like no No, any no. of these conversations like, no. you're not gonna change their yeah mind. Like, like let the person say what they're saying and when they tell you believe it believe them because they're telling you like even when sometimes somebody says something as a joke like at first yeah take it as a joke but then if they keep saying the same thing like then have a serious conversation like you seriously you don't want any kids and then they'd be like actually no actually i don't want kids and now you're like oh my god but would have such cute kids blah 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 and then now it's a problem yeah so don't assume anything yeah. make sure you're having the conversations uh go deep into it like you know <clears throat> look more and more into it uh discuss it take your time take your time before you actually commit to a marriage because yeah. these things they will come back and it's gonna be things yeah. that you have to deal with anyway, yeah so, yeah yeah yes <clears throat> okay all right now we can go to the next one which is um, what are your reasons for getting married why are you getting married like seriously like why are we doing this like some <laughs> no some people some people are just like oh yeah well, but i, I love, love you, you and you love me which is great we should have love in a marriage but <laughs> for some people it's just like oh you know tradition i'm 30 whatever now and all my aunties or my uncles are like oh when are you getting married when are you getting married or now you're like oh all my peers and my friends and everybody's married now i'm like oh i'm at the age the <laughs> age of getting married and for you to be like maturely mature enough and ready to be married are two different things mm-hmm. you could be a 36 year old boy who still like wants to do whatever they want to do and run around and whatever to each their own but the maturity of being ready to commit to one person to be responsible to one person to have accountability to that person to come home to that one person to be committed by everything in health in sickness in riches in poorness what is the one <laughs> in poverty in <laughs> like for that for that mature like for that level is two different things so like what are your reasons like do you feel like i've always wanted to bring generations more like you know through a family to bring more generations in like bring my seed or like like live my life with someone or just have that communion with someone witness someone's life love on someone be someone dependable for someone to depend on you and 
you can depend on someone having that relationship having that intimacy having that growth like you watch someone's someone grow from when you get, got to know them to they now they become a father and now hopefully one day they become a grandfather like just witnessing someone's life being a part of something mm -hmm. that's so intimate and so beautiful is what i think i got married for 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 all the experience to be with this person to Aww. build to be with them to build with them you know like not just be like you know it's the next thing to do since i'm 31 now <laughs> now everybody knows how old i am but like you know so like why why did you get married on top of all the the butterflies and the, i love him so much and i want to wake up next to him which is great and he wants to wake up next to you and see your beautiful face which all that <laughs> which all that is great but like you have to have some deepness to like why you do what you do you yeah, know yeah 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 you can't marriage is not something you just jump into because you're feeling it in your you just in your you brains just, <laughs> you just feel like getting married yeah. like hey you know like that song bruno Mars. yeah it's uh, some dumb to do hey baby <coughs> I, I think I want to marry, marry you. Run. It's beautiful night. <laughs> and Just, we got some. No, there's we, nothing, something to oh, do. Yeah, we, we got nothing to do. Oh, let's um, oh, we're looking dumb. for something we're dumb to do. something dumb to do. This is not dumb. <laughs> you're gonna yeah, like, don't do it. Yeah. It's going to be a dumb thing wh when you when do you're it. When you're in yeah. it, yeah. Because <clears throat> you're going to feel dumb in short. <laughs> don't, don't just, don't just I mean, get married. I mean, unless you're just treating this like any other relationship you've ever had like it's not seriously married like it's not like forever for you yeah then you can just call it another relationship because that's not what marriage is or is was meant to be yeah you have to like really like examine seriously why your reasons are for getting married mm -hmm. and their reasons are for getting married too and you know if those align Cause then you guys will know, like can use those reasons to decide what the goal for your marriage is. What mm -hmm. do you want your marriage to look like? What are the important things in your marriage, mm -hmm. uh, in your legacy, in whatever you want to do in the future? Mm -hmm. um, those reasons will be what makes it look what it will look like yeah. in the future, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then you also have to ask them specifically why they want it, want it to be you yeah like why me why there's so me? many beautiful girls in the look world at them. look at them why me <laughs> <laughs> and then <clears throat> just wait for them to shower you with compliments yeah that's the best way <laughs> 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 that's always a safe route <laughs> yeah so yeah even after you're married you're like oh, why did you marry me <laughs> you know mm -hmm. so yeah so i think that's a thing to talk about even if some people would say it goes without saying but like mm -hmm. it's just good to know it's you know? good to know and it doesn't go without saying you might not yeah. even know like some of the reasons they want to get married maybe yeah. they want to get married um to get back at their ex let's not do that <laughs> i mean some people do i know but it's just not yeah, I mean, it's not you, smart. You like, it can know. just backfire on you. Well, yeah, I mean, that's why they're asking because these are smart people. They and then they leave you and go hook up with your ex. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's why you shouldn't do anything because of your ex. Just do things for your own life now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh God, I'm sorry. That turned so <laughs> that quickly. That went from zero to one. Yeah, but yeah, you got to ask the questions and be able to decipher the answer. If someone's yeah. just stumbling around it, then be, you know, you can't, you should question. Like, do you really even know, like, what this means and, you know, what does it mean to you and all that? Yeah, so. I'm sorry. I don't know why my mind went to the worst case scenario. No, I mean. Because, like, if you get with someone who's petty and then they realize that you are so concentrated on getting on your ex and then now there's some argument somewhere and they're like, you know what, I'm leaving you. And then they go find your ex and they're like, ha, 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 look, now we're together. We're doing great. We left you. <laughs> sorry just don't do things like oh that okay <laughs> wow yeah that would just, be such a painful yeah, picture so do things that you know is good for you and your heart and your soul don't do anything for your ex if you need to heal take your time heal yes if you need to talk to someone therapy whatever you need to do mm -hmm. just get don't don't let exes influence you so that's why there are exes examples of what you should not do example oh Gems, 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 gems. I'm gems. telling you today. <laughs> I'm dropping them. 
<laughs> wow, what did you call that? I had said X because there are examples of what you should not do. <laughs> <laughs> did I say correct? <laughs> I don't know why that just came out. Anyway, I thought it good, would be it's good drama. Fun. I yeah. like it. I like it. But yes, this you guys is are very smart. Us to our next point, yes. which is childhood traumas uh, and baggages. If you have anything that you're dealing with, if you're not over an ex, mm. please, <laughs> please go take care of that. And then also have the conversation with your person. What is their situation? Like what happened? And how did it end? And is it over? Because some people are dating other people's boyfriends and girlfriends. <laughs> some people. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. <clears throat> You're dating someone. Who is mentally somewhere else. Yeah. Or yeah. even physically, God forbid. Oh, my God. But, you know, and the childhood traumas too. Yeah. Like, if there's something that happened in your childhood... Do you want to continue? Because yeah. I feel like I'm just... <laughs> yeah, like, if if you have... If you've had something happen in your childhood, or, like, you know, all of us, like, we... Our childhood, to some extent, might influence the way that we are as adults in adult... In uh, or romantic relationships, or, like, the way that you respond to things. Yeah. Or just the way that you are naturally, the, the things that you like to do. What you know, made you you? What made you you basically yeah. so if if you had a traumatizing childhood mm. then you know that can affect the way that you are in a relationship and in a marriage too because now maybe some things you are lacking in your childhood and you're still looking for them and you hope that your husband or your wife is will be the person to fill that gap mm. and usually some people call these things like daddy issues yeah, or mommy, mommy issues, issues things like that if that's something that you struggle with or is a part of your life like mm. that's something that you know um affects your life significantly you would need to discuss that with your person and yeah. you also need to know if they have any issues that they're dealing with yeah. and that's just an example it's not the only thing like mm. just whatever kind of experiences you went through mm. as a kid mm -hmm. if it's something that you've been able to process and move on from then that's great if it's something that still affects you and you know has the potential to affect your future yes. then you need to have those discussions mm -hmm. and if it's something that you're able to deal with before you get into marriage even better mm -hmm. because then you know it, it becomes easier when you go into a marriage mm -hmm. and you are healed and complete and yeah. you know just uh, com complete the way you are yeah and not expecting the other person to come and compensate yes, something that's from, from very you, right? very very important what yeah. she said yeah and the first step is to make sure you actually agree that you have issues yourself with yourself by yourself mm -hmm. because nobody's gonna help you heal or you you yourself can't take the steps towards healing if you're not like admitting that you have these problems yeah, yeah. because now you'll just like cover them with blankets and then one day in the marriage you'll be like ah and then it's like what is this Whoa. <laughs> and everybody will be like hold on hold everything who are you and what are you here to do you know because now there's like all oh this like God, I love the not novel. like seriously like you're just <clears throat> going on in life and then half suddenly like something and you're like Whoo, what is that <laughs> why what happened you know who are you and what did you do with my wife <laughs> yeah so yeah or my husband so <laughs> yeah so, so you gotta you gotta genuine. deal with your issues if yeah. you're able to um your partner can be there to support you yeah. as you deal with them but um, don't put it all on them yeah it's some, not all on them yeah, some, i mean they might be there to support your every move mm -hmm. but these are also humans too mm -hmm. like you put yourself in that person's shoes now like they're like okay now here are all my problems you solve them like it's not fair because they're also like trying to live their own life and have that piece of happiness don't always just be like the one like yeah. bringing issues and making the person go down yeah like be like okay i admit these are my issues like i would I like your help and we are walking this road together and whatever your issues are and I, i'm helping you not just be like okay now you fix me yeah yeah mm -hmm. and i think that's a misconception uh when it comes to relationships mm -hmm. like your person is supposed to be your everything like your therapist no, your not. 
your anything they're you not need. your therapist <laughs> if you need a therapist please Go get, get one. one they're not your therapist yeah. please they could be there to listen to uh, yeah. to talk to mm-hmm. you know to help solve some yeah. problems or mm-hmm. like figure out like the and best be way. your friend and be your friend and encourage you but they're also but, your spouse yeah so, yeah yeah they also have problems of their own mm-hmm. please so yeah. you can't just be like yeah help. yeah yeah fix me help me yeah do everything for yeah me, right it's yeah. like almost like how you literally can't physically always be like on me like and i have to drag you around yeah or i can't be on him and he has to drag me it's the same thing with the issues mentally mm-hmm. like because they also have their own mental things to go to deal to with do yeah and, deal with. and now you want to add yourself on top there yeah <laughs> do not do that do not do <laughs> it's it. not right yeah so these <laughs> <laughs> these conversations are better had before yes. so that you know what this person has going on what issues they have what whatever it is and decide for yourself Mm -hmm. is this something you are willing to stick around for is this something that you're willing to help them through Mm -hmm. and your issues they have they also have the chance to decide if that's something they are willing to stay Mm -hmm. through right and some of these things you know sometimes they show up relationship after relationship after relationship Mm -hmm. so maybe if you have like a trend like something that you do in every relationship yes you know you find that you know every one of every single one of your (laughs) self-sabotaging every single one of your ex is complaining about it or just this that one that issue one that day. always comes mm-hmm. up ask yourself <laughs> am i the drama <laughs> is it me <laughs> am i the problem <laughs> am i be the problem you might be the problem you might be the problem <laughs> yeah so just be open and, and honest there's nothing wrong like yeah. no, none of us is perfect right none. and the first thing towards healing <laughs> <laughs> He's God. Accept Continue. Jesus. Continue. Yes, accept him. <laughs> accept Jesus and and get out of denial. Yeah. If there's a problem, there's a problem. I said none of us is perfect except Jesus. Oh, I thought you said because I, I said the first thing to do is accept. <laughs> you can Jesus. also accept him. He will help you. <laughs> he has helped me quite a lot. Oh, okay. Yes. All right, but mm. yeah, like figure out what the issues are, deal with them ahead of time. <laughs> yes. At least make an that effort to establish some kind of strategy to go. Yeah through those and for the baggage part if someone's not over their ex please oh please 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 do not marry them do not <laughs> just don't yeah. it's not gonna be over it's like it's not okay honestly i mean it's not okay I mean, like you're here for the person to be with them to live your life with them like if you're not over this one why continue with this one do not continue <laughs> It's just not right if and then the person you ha- you're marrying to get to get either over the other person or to get to to get, get a, back to them but it's not fair for this person you're marrying because now they have to always like to always like do be doing all these things for you to feel like you did better other than marrying nobody wants to keep doing that in their marriage like yeah. i want you to love me for me like mm-hmm. i'm not loving me in comparison to mary whoever mary is anyway hey. <laughs> We, we apologize for all the Marys I'm sorry, in the audience. But I'm just saying. Oh, I'm sorry, Mary. Nothing against you. But I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. Like nobody wants to live their life competing with this imaginary person. person and yeah. now, like when 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 I do one mistake, it's like Mary used to do X Y Z. We're like, well, then I'm not Mary. Like, hey, hello. I'm so sorry, Mary. Like I don't. Are you know, not? Like, I don't, you keep I don't, I'm Mary. just gonna go to the next. <laughs> names like what's a very mary random name so sorry can stick to mary yeah. and they'll know that it's just a name like yeah. we, it's just an example just don't don't marry us don't marry someone and then either compare them to somebody else or marry make, someone to to get over someone yeah, or, or to, to make them feel or make them feel like oh my ex used to be better than you don't do that yeah so then then go be with them then no seriously yeah like it's not it's not right yeah. yeah. So, anyway, that was a touchy topic, <laughs> but we'll Sorry, move. Mary. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The we'll next right point. Oh, is... I have something to say. Yeah, go ahead. On that point, mm-hmm. <laughs> no, seriously though, like, and thinking like the grass will be greener on the other side 
it's not. It's green. Okay? Now where you water where it. Where you water it. Because you harvest where you invest. Woo! Gems, huh? gems, 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 gems. Uh, if you do not invest nothing, don't expect to harvest anything from me wow. or from whoever you married. If every day your husband comes home, you're like, oh, you're so nothing, you're so stupid, you ain't good for no sh shit. Like you're not, <laughs> you're not good, right? And then later I expect him to like shower me and uh, make me feel like self-esteem, like I'm giving him bad things <laughs> bad vibes bad vibes and then i expect good vibes from him so no that's not gonna happen yeah no good vibes so whatever you want to harvest you invest you invest good love in this person you give them your attention you give them your love you give them your support to the best way that you can the baby's knocking to the best way that you can and then you harvest exactly what you have planted exactly Oof. yes Gems, 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 gems. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Our next point, another conversation that you should have is love languages, guys. Mm -hmm. Wow. What are your love languages? Yeah. Or how do you respond to love or what makes you feel loved? And mm -hmm. what makes them feel loved? Yes. This is the thing. Sometimes we like to love people the way that we want to be loved. Yes. The way that we interpret love is the way that we want to give love because it comes most naturally to, to us, us that way. But, but you have to understand to that mm -hmm. these other person interprets love differently. Mm -hmm. Their love languages is different like so you might be doing something that you love it when are someone, doing it out of your whole heart you're like oh let me show him how i love him yeah. oh my gosh every day i want to watch every like i want to spend three hours with them <laughs> quality time is my love language yeah and then for them they're just like oh my god she i wish she... you would just buy me a gift <laughs> you know <laughs> And then you're just like, you don't even know how, how much, much I, I love, love you. you. I try to show you every day, I know. literally. Every, every day? day? And yeah. you're like, how? They're it's... like, how? You never show me that you love me. Yeah. <gasps> now you're offended. You never even bought me a watch. <laughs> and it's like, is that what? So, see, that's the thing. Yeah. You need to know how the person feels love or needs or appreciates or gets that this is you they feeling love from you yeah because this is how they understand that love is given to them yeah and yeah. and there's a lot of different things that they say influences the way that we 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 accept love and how we feel loved and everything mm -hmm. but like we're just gonna mention the five love languages here um just in case you don't know what they are and these are not the <coughs> only ways to show love but mm -hmm. these are just kind of like have been universally agreed upon yeah uh one of them is quality time gifts receiving gifts you have to say receiving, uh, receiving gifts <laughs> 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 um physical touch and words of affirmation and uh acts of service acts of service yeah. yes so some of them are self-explanatory like quality time you want to spend time together <laughs> when you're spending when they're, you're spending time with them they want it to be like don't be on your phone and do other things like you can spend just like maybe a few minutes talking yeah. like giving them attention listening yeah. to them blah 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 and they will feel like you love them mm -hmm. for physical touch you know it doesn't necessarily mean like intimacy sex whatever it could but be. It, it could be <laughs> but like it could also be like just holding like, my hand yeah. to some a little bit of pda you know putting your hand on my thigh while i'm driving you know things like that you mm -hmm. know a little you know things taking some hair off your eyes taking some hair off um, your uh, eyes <laughs> <laughs> i think you put that in i'm just kidding i'm kidding i feel love <laughs> <laughs> you know things like that receiving gifts as long as obviously. they're touching it's how much i'm just kidding, <laughs> I'm kidding. sorry receiving sorry. receiving gifts yeah. obviously that's mm -hmm. you know some some people you know you would think like receiving gifts is a universal love language yeah but, but it's apparently not. it's not yeah especially people who have things themselves yeah they already have them. yeah so they're just like gonna give them? i'd rather you give me your time wow you know all right
Okay, boo. No, oh. yeah. Because, <laughs> like, some people, like, I could, like, buy... I mean, I know it's the thought also that counts. And it's uh, nothing against gifts. But some people just want your time to be there with you. Yeah. Because, actually, time is the most expensive gift you can give to anybody. Hallelujah. Gems, gems. Okay. And then, uh, the <laughs> yeah, next thing Yeah, say is... gems, gems. <laughs> um, acts of service. You know, yeah. like, when you do something for, for someone, someone, they're, like, like making oh, them dinner. Oh, my, my God. God. That's my... Oh, is that your love language? Yeah, I wow. love it, and he does it so well. Wow! Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah. yeah, and then so something like that, you know, maybe his is something different, which mm -hmm. she would need to figure quality out. Quality time. Okay. Yes, quality <laughs> time. But now, like when he makes her dinner, she's feeling so loved. And now, when they're eating dinner, she gives him quality love, quality quality, quality time. time. And now all both of them are feeling so loved. And then physical touch, yay. <laughs> Which all right. leads to Yeah, so there's there's you just need to learn how the person receives love. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be just that one thing. Mm -hmm. Some people just want it all equally, like which is still fine. Yeah. But we only brought this up so that you can know if you didn't know now you that, know. Yeah, now you know. <laughs> but like if you didn't know that sometimes you can really feel like you're really loving someone with all of your heart mm -hmm. and nothing against you and how you love but this other person just doesn't feel like that's and like you you're doing your best as like yeah. you feel like if they told you to like lay down and they'll walk over you like no like if you feel like i'm giving them everything like what else do they want but mm -hmm. you just know this one way to give love so you're just like in that one space like but if you have this conversation and then they just say like yeah but like you don't even like you don't get me anything like i would like maybe sometimes here and there be like buy, get me this or like whatever it is or like um you know make some dinner or something like that so maybe that way, like, then you do that. And then since that's how they receive love, like, you'll do something so small. And then they're like, oh, my God, it's awesome. Because that's how they receive, <laughs> how they yeah, receive love. Yeah, actually, it has such a magnif yeah. magnitude of effect in the things, like, like just the way the person feels. Because yeah. that's how they receive yeah, it. Yeah, that's how they receive it. It's crazy. Yeah. So if you haven't had the conversation, make sure you do. And sometimes people don't even know what their love language is. Yeah. But like even throughout like your relationship, you can just see you know, how what makes them happy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you do something one excited. day and they're just like, Oh, I felt so loved like when you did this or oh thank do you so more. much. Do thank you so much for doing that the other day or whatever it is those comments like they they don't have to specifically fit in a certain category like mm -hmm. we've mentioned mm -hmm. but like just know that like that's how the person feels loved mm -hmm. so keep doing more of that mm -hmm. even if sometimes you have to dig deep and do something outside of your comfort zone mm -hmm. because their love language could be something that you have to really be <laughs> intentional yeah. about like maybe it's something you don't like doing like naturally it's mm -hmm. not something yeah. like that comes natural to you as what you just do on a day to day mm -hmm. you have to do that for your person because yeah. you want them it's like you know i read somewhere they were saying it's like speaking english to like a chinese person and they don't know any english or yeah. the other way around yeah. like you're you're trying to communicate something but they don't understand yeah and until you learn their language and you can speak to to them gems 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 <laughs> yes in their language yeah. then they'll start finally to understand what yeah. you're trying to tell them mm -hmm. which is i love you yeah. so much yes. yeah i hope yes. you would understand I that you was understand. a good one yes so don't be breaking your backs eh, about showing people love. Just ask them what it is. Yeah, and, and then, then do they'll, it. they'll tell you. Most people will just tell you. Yeah. And then just do that. Over and again and, and over, again and again and, over, and again. And, 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 and then find a way marriage. to like remix it with other things and yeah. keep it exciting. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So. Nice. So Gems. I think for our last one. Mm -hmm. Last but not the least, definitely. <laughs> Let's go there. Yeah, let's do the it. joys of marriage. <laughs> Another major. Well, for me, one of the go major. Ahead. <laughs> yeah. For all of so us. So it's please. intimacy expectations. Yes. So this may be like awkward to talk about, or you know, for those who are brave, it might not be awkward. Uh, but I think it's important to at least like talk about it 
to some point, you know, because some of you are better showing than talking anyway. So, right? <laughs> wow. Oh, my God, I'm guys. just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I don't even know you guys. I just thought. <laughs> we I'm know sorry. them now. What okay, do you I'm mean? sorry. Okay. These are our people. It's good at least to talk about it, you know? Yeah. Because I know, of course, when we get married, you know, we'll, we'll show you. But at least it's good to talk about it because some some girls may want to be like, oh, you know, maybe just here and there. Or like guys are like, every day, let's do this, blah, blah, blah. You know, but... Some, it could be the other way around too. Or could, yeah, or girls could be like every day and then the guy's like, I need rest. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> but I think it's just at least important to like at least touch on it so that you can see if you're... On the same level mm -hmm. of... Um, uh, what is it called Desire. sexual act, yeah act, uh, act, how active you are mm -hmm. sexually and mm -hmm. you know what you think you can handle at this time or what you think would be good or just have like a kind of conversation so that you both know what you're getting into yeah for me mm -hmm. and my husband we actually very proud of us waited till marriage but so these are conversations we had to talk about because we had not been intimate so before you get married, maybe it, it just might be coming easy and like maybe a few years after you get married. But then like later in life, like sometimes you have to be like, you know, it's Wednesday <laughs> 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 or whatever time or day that you guys be like, you know, by Wednesday or by Tuesday or by Saturday, at least something should have happened in the me in the middle or something. <laughs> in the me. <laughs> <laughs> something oh like that God. so i i mean it's fun to talk about and then it's it's um you at least for well for me it was important because we had not been intimate so we had to like see where where you at and can i handle what you need from me mm -hmm. <laughs> or can you handle what i need from you and what levels of what i need to get myself to or us where we need to go <laughs> or where we are going so like you know just a conversation like that might be exciting and to at least keep you anticipating and just see what it is that the other person needs and who's where and the other one is where mm -hmm. yeah yeah i i think so it's very important um and intimacy is not just like about sex mm -hmm. itself it's also oh, like oh sorry i went all there oh, that's no, all that's fine but that's like... not all it's about <laughs> but my mind was just like uh... <laughs> sorry okay, guys okay, no problem <laughs> and but it like... continue <laughs> <laughs> like how do you remain close with each other yes. right because mm -hmm. obviously like that's the closeness that will lead to like the physical intimacy mm -hmm. but like how to maintain like the intimacy oh, like being the, pursued yeah mm -hmm. like what do you like like what turns you on and like the kinds of things that make you f stay connected to your person because mm -hmm. sometimes like not sometimes you okay at least for me i have to feel connected to the person to be able to go there mm -hmm. and you know like i'm not saying every time it's just like oh but like at least you have to have that connection mm. so like you want to be in good spirits you want to enjoy your time with each other mm -hmm. you want to like if you need to go on dates you want to do that like you want to keep like Keep it Keep the fun fire and burning. sexy yes. like, during the day if you yeah. know in the night you want some some Yeah, some you know what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so how, but some, like, yeah, okay. yeah, so you have to I mean as as you continue towards marriage, depending on what you guys are doing you can have that conversation if you're not uh if you're uh abstaining till marriage then what will that look like after marriage i mean at that point you just all of these things and it, this is for all the conversations that we've had are just like speculating like yeah. what things are gonna look like in marriage mm -hmm. but having that baseline for me at least i know i will need maybe however many times a week mm -hmm. or you know this is what i'd like for us to make sure we continue to do because mm -hmm. it makes me feel this way and i think it will you know just those those conversations that may be a little bit you know uncomfortable sometimes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um if there's something you want to try or you know different things you want to do like you can talk about them don't get surprised in the marriage when yeah. you find out your partner does in, not do xyz or will not do xyz and or you is into xyz and would really like, prefer xyz <laughs> anyway 
and then you're just like okay all right so what does this mean for me now? yeah yeah so, so yeah i think definitely topic of conversation and mm -hmm. you know just having like a baseline understanding of what this is what we expect when yeah. we get into a marriage yeah. so there's no surprises yeah yeah and also i was gonna say like uh by how she said what she needs and what atmosphere and what mentality she'd want to be you know physically also sometimes in marriage it might not all always be there yeah. like checking all the boxes and now you're feeling all sexy and now you're feeling all like let's let's do this sometimes in marriage you're feeling zero of that thing sometimes because a day has been a day mm -hmm. life has been lifing and you're just like but it's wednesday <laughs> <laughs> wow no like it's seriously Wednesday, guys. like but yeah. then the, like when sometimes you're getting into it you're just like oh okay here we go and then by that time you're like whoa so glad we glad we did that <laughs> you know because now i feel great <laughs> like my day went from zero to a hundred so sometimes like it, it doesn't it might not always be like i'm feeling mentally great i'm feeling physically great everything has been sexy, great i'm, I'm looking, looking sexy and mm. all these things so sometimes like you actually just have to go and do it <laughs> you know yeah. like so with all the the chemistry and everything working that's also great everything works and then with with whatever uh, sometimes because sometimes you can go like a long time and be like are we like still <laughs> you know yeah and, so, and also you yeah. don't want to feel like you don't want to start feeling like it's now a bother or something like oh now we have to <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's wednesday <laughs> oh my god it's wednesday already <laughs> so <laughs> no, you just have oh to find god. what works for you but yeah. this actually i know we are laughing but this is very important not yeah. only to men of course everybody knows this is important to men but it's and also women yeah it's also important i was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> it's also important to women yeah. because it's it's one way of connecting that's you know on a different level at, on top of just talking to each other and holding hands. Yeah, and this is what this is the one <laughs> thing that ideally everybody should only be doing in marriage. Like when you think about it, mm -hmm. you could get you could talk with everybody else like you could talk to your family and friends you could go on trips with your family and friends you could go to you can do literally everything else with with other people mm -hmm. except this one thing yeah. mm -hmm. so if you're not on the same page and if you don't really know how to make your partner and you know like yeah. you guys feel good in that sector then mm -hmm. like what is your partner to do yeah <laughs> actually that's that very great that she brought that up guys or girls if there's something you need that's not being done say it so that it gets done right yeah yeah Cause so then nobody's like feeling upset or nobody's feeling left hanging like the person is not an angel like for them to my, know i don't know like when we started clearly i had not had sex with my husband before so like it was lots of questions and practice which was great <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> anyway but like you just have to voice what it is that you know maybe you like something specific that maybe he likes giving something else or doing something else and then maybe you like something so you have to be like that's great but can i introduce you to something else that i like <laughs> and then since he loves and is your husband like let me teach me all about it and he'll be all about it because you know he wants to please you because you can't get this from anywhere else yeah now like if somebody literally. does not give this to you in marriage then he or she is depriving you of one thing is um it's actually your right in marriage it's actually in the bible okay oh it is actually it says do not deny your husband or your wife their wife their duty their um your wifely duties <laughs> to satisfy them it's actually in the bible it's a thing that you wow. have to do you cannot deny and fun fact <laughs> hold on <laughs> before you even fast or anything and do those things you have to ask your husband because you know this is very important oh. because mm -hmm. this is one way i'm just gonna say like genuinely for how i know and believe it's one way that the enemy can like just take from you because now if the one person is feeling like xyz is not happening and i really need xyz and then it's put in your mind like 
this person will give you X, Y, Z the way you want because this one is doing X, L, A, B, C and you don't like A, B, C, you want X, Y, Z and this person will give you all the X, Y, Z. And then it's a problem because now your mind is like being div diverted to this other option, which is not real. This is why you have to talk about things and tell the person what you want. There's nothing wrong. So after some time, then you won't pretty much have to say anything unless you both are trying like new things because now you're like, they already know what to do, yeah. you know? So, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So talk about these things. Don't be shy. Gems, 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 gems. gems, gems. gems. Wow. Gems. I feel like if you watch this, whether you're preparing to get married or you're already married, you're learning things. Yes. So this is, we might rename these gems. Gems, <laughs> gems coming shortly. <laughs> And previously on gems to a theater near you. <laughs> yeah, oh my god! This has been fun. Wow, this is so it's always fun. fun hanging oh out with you. my god! Like it and has dropping gems. Yes. Yeah, it has been awesome. It's been awesome. I think those are eight conversations mm -hmm. that are really really important to have they are not the only ones like we said mm -hmm. and they won't go exactly the way that we are saying but listen to the person yeah decipher what they're saying mm -hmm. and decide for yourself if that is something that is okay with you with your principles with your fundamentals if that's something you can um Live with, live with for, for the, rest the rest of, of your, your life. life. Is this something that you know is compatible with you? Yes, I know they say love is blind, but don't let it be deaf too. I thought we were done dropping gems. I'm sorry, <laughs> they just keep coming today. The fluffies, <laughs> they just keep coming, so don't let it be deaf. If someone tells you something. Take it as, as at face value or ear value. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even face value, yeah. ear value, whatever they are. That yeah. person, they're telling you, especially if you're just having a conversation and they're saying these things and you're, you're feeling it in your mind to convince them otherwise. Stop yourself. Don't do it. Do not do it. Do not do and it. we're not saying that you know you cannot have conversations to get to a point of agreement you can. but you can for sure and that's basically like the point of dating figuring out if this person fundamentally is compatible with you yes. and what your values are and what you want from your life and mm -hmm. whatever hopes you have um and as opposed to convincing someone yeah. otherwise yeah that's it the show is closed <laughs> Yeah. You're not there to convince them. Yeah. You're there to find out. Yeah. And if you find out they don't, like, they're not that, yeah. then please, your person we're is just, not there yeah. yet. Like, we're just trying to save you a headache. Head, a headache. In the, headache and heartache. In the future. Yeah, yeah, because then you'll be like, oh, why was I even there? I wish I knew. Have you ever stopped dating someone and you're like, oh, my God, all these things that were just there. Yeah. Don't, it, don't do that with marriage because this is a whole different thing. It's yeah. not just like, oh, we are boyfriend, girlfriend today and then tomorrow I can leave you. Yeah, no, you so. say your vows, especially for, for someone. Yeah, and those who like literally take their vows seriously, like you have to go through all these bumps, hoops and all these things before so that when you're in it, it's not like as hard because you're still going to have to go through these things anyways, yeah. talking about the things we talked about. Yeah, and, and this way it makes it so much more fun because now you're not... I mean, you know, still things will come, mm -hmm. but you already have like a understanding, a baseline, a baseline understanding of where you are. Mm -hmm. So the things are not so hard to deal with because those things, those hard conversations, those hard uh, issues are what makes it makes people say that marriage is hard. Mm -hmm. But really what it is, is marriage is work. Mm -hmm. It just means you have to be willing to put in the work and they have to be willing to put in the work. But if you make it easier on yourselves before you even get in there, you're yeah. already a step ahead. Yes. So it's not going to be as hard mm -hmm. as people put it out there to mm -hmm. be. It's going to be fun yeah. and great and amazing. Yeah. And, you know, you're going to fall in love with a person more and more every day yes. as opposed to resenting them because there are things you wish you had talked about and now you're like if i knew that <laughs> 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 or something like that so yeah. just make it easy on yourself and as i said last time 
marriage is not 50-50, it's 100-100. Everybody has to bring in their A game 100%. Of the time, too. Of the time, because it's you and that person. It's not that person who's just there supporting all, yeah. all of you. So everybody brings 100 and then it's so easy. And be considerate of the other person. Love them genuinely like you would want them to love you. Yes. In the way that they understand, but in in situations <laughs> where where like you you feel like I have a right to be angry or I have a right to be whatever right now, just be like if if this was me and it was the other way, I would want them to be nice and kind and have some grace. Yes. If you forget anything, remember grace. If you, have... you forget everything else. Yes, yeah. have some grace and yeah. start practicing now. You're going to need it a yeah. lot in marriage. And these things can also be taken in like other places in life, like business, school, work. Just, you know, be nice to people and try to put yourself in the shoe of the person. But yeah, this is mostly for marriage. So the person who is going to be your right or die, your closest, definitely deserves the grace. Because if you go to work, you're not going to be upside down to your coworkers and your 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 boss and stuff you're always gonna have like that special mannerism thing or like trying to be nice to them so at least be that and even more for the person that you're gonna spend the rest of your life with yeah, yeah. so i hope guys you really enjoyed this we've really enjoyed shooting this video, <laughs> yeah, so yeah we, we hope did. you've enjoyed uh watching it if you hearing this yeah man you're an og make sure you're subscribed because man yes. more gems coming gems, and we gems, can't wait gems. to shoot the next episode for you guys you know it's gonna be fire as always yes and thank you for everybody that has been watching so far we love the support that you guys are showing us and we're looking forward to more and more of bed of roses so stay tuned and until next time take care be happy be kind to one another yes. and bye. Do -do <laughs> bye so like share and subscribe guys and watch out for our next video love you i just wanna love you just wanna hold you just wanna be with you till we grow old please tell me